All right, so before I get this video started, um, I just want to let y'all know that none of the audio recorded, apparently, from the original recording of this video, so, uh, I'm doing all the commentary and everything in post, <laughs> uh, but there's also no gameplay sound effects, so, this video is going to be interesting to edit, but anyways. What's up, Ant City, and welcome back to another episode of Nuzlocke Training. And today, we are using Nezuko, and, you know, like I said, none of the audio recorded, so... I'm gonna do my best to explain the combos and such, but it's not the same as, like, me actually doing it live. I will still try my best to explain it, because I don't think they were that difficult, so let me just... Let's just get into it, I guess. Okay, so for the first combo, basically all you want to do is you want to do six hits with Nezuko. So like one full combo string, it should do like this sidekick and that'll like, you know, it staggers your opponent. So you want to get to that hit and then you want to actually jump and then do a dive kick. So jump and press down in square or X on Xbox. Uh, yeah, so you jump and do a dive kick and then you do another full combo string into your flying kick super tag, which is... Uh, R1 and Triangle on PlayStation, and then RB and Y on Xbox. So yeah, you just want to do that. And that's actually a good way to get some pretty decent damage. And Nezuko's, like, the reason that one works, though, is because Nezuko's dive kick is really fast. So while your opponent is staggered, you want to just jump, like, immediately. Like, as soon as you get that sidekick, jump and do the dive kick right away. If you do it fast enough, it should work. Like, really, it should work really well. Even online, which actually, I think in this video, I, did, I like, did it wrong in the online match, but... I tested it after and it does actually work, so yeah. And then another thing that I was showing off in the video is that, so when your opponent gets knocked onto the ground after the flying kick, because with flying kick, there's actually two versions of it. There's one that goes into the full like animation where Nezuko kicks your opponent away. Or if you don't, I think if you don't hold the button, you just tap it once, it'll just do like a normal heavy knockdown. So after that heavy knockdown, to pressure your opponent, you can actually j do like a little short hop, like right above them, and then go into your crazy scratching, which is, um, you just press triangle or Y in the air. Right? You could do it on the ground too, but it's better in the air because it causes some pressure on them. So you can just, you know, uh, pressure your opponent from on wake up. And then if they don't block or anything, it'll, um, you know, it'll hit them. You can continue to go. But even if they do block, you can still get some pretty good hits off. Okay. And then after that, basically, I just show off how Nezuko has really good guard pressure. Uh, because all you need to do, because you can actually break someone's guard really easily with Nezuko. So all you need to do is, you can start off with either doing some hits while someone's blocking, or I prefer to start with, like, crazy scratching. So you do your crazy scratching into the heel bash, which is your forward, or, like, your directional input and triangle. I usually push, like, push, like, up or sideways. So you do that and triangle, or, you know, that and Y on Xbox with the control stick, the left stick. Um, and then you can basically, you do a crazy scratching into that into like some hits into another crazy scratching like basically you could just keep attacking with that like same loop so you do like a crazy scratching into heel bash into like a combo string into another scratching and like it's hard for your opponent to escape that obviously they can like assist and stuff to get out of it but either way you're gonna be doing a lot of guard damage the only problem is obviously that's gonna take up a lot of meter but you can break guard really easily easily with nezuko like she's kind of broken for that exact reason so yeah you could even start with like a heel bash if you want it like you can start with any of the moves technically it's just i think crazy scratching is probably the easiest one to start with because it links straight into heel bash like perfectly and then you can go into like your normal combo string after that and yeah it's just it's, nezuko just has really great guard pressure which is, I think, one of her strongest suit. Like, that's the, one of the strongest things about her character is her cr insane guard pressure. So, yeah. 
Okay, actually, one more thing I need to talk about is Nezuko actually has a really good way to do a combo reset. It's actually really simple. So all you need to do is... So taking that very first combo I taught y'all, basically you do everything exactly the same, except instead of doing the heal bash, like the super attack at the end of the combo, you want to dash and then block immediately to cancel your dash because it'll make your opponent think you're going to like run at them. And then you can either do a grab if you think your opponent's going to try to block or you can just actually continue doing hits. So, like, look, I, I think you should be able to see it here. But basically, yeah, you can dash and cancel the dash. Um, like, you just press circle and block, like, immediately, or B and block immediately. And that will cancel your dash. So that way, that's actually how you do Nezuko's reset. You just dash and block. And then you can either, like I said, you can go for a grab, or it counts as a reset, so you can actually keep doing hits after it. Which I actually, I don't know if it was in the video, I'll have to see when, I, when we get to the online match. But that actually does catch people off guard a lot, the, the dash cancel. Because a lot of people expect you to, like... Like, they don't block because they expect to get hit with the last hit of the combo. But if you actually cancel it... And it's super quick. So, like, they don't... Ex sometimes they don't, like, hold block a lot of people. Because they're like, well, I'm going to get hit with this last hit anyway. So, might as well. But you can mix it up and then do a whole new combo string. And then you could even try to reset again and go for a grab. Or you could just do your normal combo at that point with the dive kick at the end. Or the uh, flying kick at the end. So, yeah. But I'm pretty sure that's basically everything that I showed off with Nezuko. If I forget anything, though, I'll, like, edit it back in. Like, you, you probably won't be able to tell. But, um... So, actually, the online match portion of this does have audio because I basically recorded it as two different recordings so the first recording was just the training and then i stopped it and then the next part because i don't i don't think i recorded them the same day so the actual online match is fine it does have audio so from there on out it should be all good so yeah uh, enjoy the online match now all right so we back in here with the online match of the video so we're gonna try to put these combos i learned into oh, move i couldn't move we're gonna try to put what i learned into practice see if i can do pretty well here so let's go all right we he escaped that's fine get him with this jump no i dropped it oh my gosh i've done that so many times all right i was gonna say we could use our block pressure here we really need to oh let's go we got him he can block did i do it wrong why did he why was he able to block i didn't do the down kick fast enough okay good to know good to know all right yeah we need to work on that i did not do that quick enough at all oh he got me with the ground that was nice that was nice Dang, stab me. Okay. Um, all right, let's get him. Anyway, oh, that was a nice perfect ball. I didn't think he could block that. I ran right into the waterfall. That was all. That was my fault. Oh, my gosh. Well, we're. it's okay. That was just the first round. We still have time. And this isn't the Nuzlocke challenge, so I don't lose. That, that doesn't count as like a life or whatever. You know. I almost thought it did for a second. I was like, oh, no, we're about to lose Nezuko. I was like, oh, wait. It's not the Nuzlocke challenge. I had to remind myself. All right, let's try that again, that combo I just learned. Why do I keep dropping it? Maybe it got patched out or something. Or I think I'm just doing it wrong. Let me let me try it a few more times before I determine that. I walked right into that. That was my fault. Okay, I got to be more careful. I got to also try to get him to block so I can use my block pressure on it. So let's move. Ooh, okay, got him. All right, let's try again. Look, he can, he can just block. I didn't use my block pressure. Oh my gosh, that was my... So yeah, am I just doing something wrong, maybe? I don't know. But it seems like he can still block. Maybe that just doesn't work as well online. That's a problem. That was like the whole crux of the combo. Well, anyways, let's just do... Let's just do it this way. He can block that, too. Maybe they updated it or something. I don't know. I don't know why that's not working as it should. As I practiced it. Yeah, I gotta... I might have to go back and practice this a little bit more, but that's okay. But, um, yeah, like, the combo just is not working online very well. I, I, oh, I keep forgetting to do my pressure. Oh, my God. I'm so mad at myself. I keep forgetting my pressure. Oh, my gosh. All right. Let's see if we can do it at least once. Scratch him. What? He, oh, that perfect block was nice. I can't even be mad. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. Yep, yeah, it's over. Well... That's going to be it for the video, but I am going to practice this a little bit more offline, you know, off camera. See if I can um, maybe figure out why that combo's not working. I'm going to lab it a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, and I, I got to 
keep practicing on that combo pressure. That that at least I know works, the combo pressure, or block pressure. So we're going to keep that up. But for now, we're going to end off the video right there. But anyways, guys, that was it for this episode of Nuzlocke Training. I may throw in, a, if I can figure out how to do the combo and all that properly, I may throw in some extra clips at the end. But for now, that's where it's going to end off, unfortunately. But yeah. Thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you slap that like button and that subscribe button. And come back next time for whenever we get to the next character, which I not I forgot who it was. But I think it's Urukadaki. Well, you, well, you'll see. We're going to get to the next character, and hopefully that can go a little bit better. But yeah, I'm going to practice these Nezuko combos a little bit more. See if I can figure out if I did something wrong or why it's not working. Uh, but yeah, so until then, see y'all later. And peace. Have a good day or night, y'all.